welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the latest and greatest in gaming. Today, we've got something special, something that takes us back while pushing us forward. We're talking about the Beyond Good and Evil Anniversary Edition leak, a nod to a game that left its mark on the gaming world two decades ago. Beyond Good and Evil, developed and published by Ubisoft, hit the gaming scene in 2003. It's not just any action-adventure game. It's a title that tells the tale of Jade, an investigative reporter and martial artist, entangled in a plot thick with alien conspiracies and resistance movements. But what makes this game stand out? It's the brainchild of Mitchell Ansell, the creator of the Raymond series, and was envisioned as the first part of a trilogy. Despite its poor reception at E3 2002, which led to significant changes in the game's elements, including the design of Jade, the game emerged as a critically acclaimed masterpiece. It was praised for its animation, setting, story, and design, earning a nomination for Game of the Year at the 2004 Game Developers' Choice Awards. However, it didn't just enjoy critical success, it developed a cult following. Unfortunately, it was a commercial disappointment upon its release, attributed to an oversaturated market and a lack of effective marketing by Ubisoft. It was intended to kickstart a trilogy, but its commercial failure put those plans on hold. Fast forward to today, and we're looking at a 20th anniversary edition, set for release in early 2024. This edition is not just a nostalgic trip, it promises up to 4 Kelvin, 60 FPS with improved graphics, controls, and audio, along with brand new autosave and cross-save features. An early development version was mistakenly released to some Ubisoft Plus subscribers, sparking excitement and curiosity among fans worldwide. So, why does Beyond Good and Evil matter even today? It's a game that combined various gameplay elements, action-adventure, puzzles, stealth, and racing, with a level of polish and atmosphere that was rare at the time. It dealt with themes like moral ambiguity and government conspiracies, which were particularly poignant in a post 9 11 world. Its unique blend of storytelling, gameplay, and atmosphere set it apart, making it a game that, despite its initial commercial struggles, has remained in the hearts of gamers. In the next section, we'll dive into the details of the leak and what it means for Ubisoft and fans alike. Stay tuned and let us know in the comments what you think about this iconic game making a comeback. Let's rewind to 2003. Beyond Good and Evil enters the gaming world, developed by none other than Ubisoft. This isn't just any game. It's an action-adventure journey set in a universe brimming with intrigue and resistance. The protagonist, Jade, is an investigative reporter and martial artist, uncovering an alien conspiracy. What made this game stand out? Its blend of puzzles, stealth, action, and a gripping narrative. It was the brainchild of Mitchell Ansell, known for the Raymond series, and it was intended as the start of a trilogy. But why is Beyond Good and Evil so revered? Despite its commercial struggles, the game earned a cult status for its unique storytelling, atmospheric setting, and seamless integration of various gameplay elements. It received acclaim for its design and animation, bagging a Game of the Year nomination in 2004. The game resonated with players for its exploration of themes like moral ambiguity and rebellion, themes that struck a chord in a post 9 11 world. Its initial concept, changed post E3 2002, still managed to deliver a narrative and gameplay experience that has lingered in the hearts of gamers. The game's significance lies not just in its artistic and narrative achievements but also in its ability to challenge the norms of its time, offering a rich, exploratory experience that was ahead of its curve. It's a testament to how games can be more than just entertainment. They can be a form of expression, a narrative medium that engages and provokes thought. That's why, two decades later, Beyond Good and Evil is still celebrated and why its anniversary edition is so anticipated. Alright, let's dive into the heart of today's news, the leak of Beyond Good and Evil's 20th anniversary edition. How did this remaster, shrouded in mystery, suddenly come into the limelight? It seems that details of the game unexpectedly popped up on the Xbox Store, and, even more intriguingly, an incomplete version of the game was briefly available on Ubisoft+. Plus. This version wasn't the final one, as Ubisoft was quick to clarify. It included promising upgrades like up to 4 Kelvin resolution, 60 FPS, improved graphics, controls, and audio, along with new features such as autosave and cross-save. But there's more. The leak hinted at additional elements like a speedrun mode, updated achievements, and an anniversary gallery offering a behind-the-scenes look at the game's development. For a brief moment, some Ubisoft Plus subscribers got a sneak peek into what's brewing for the official launch set for early 2024. Though this version was quickly pulled, the short window it was available created a buzz among fans and gamers alike, raising anticipation for the official release. In the gaming community, the leak of the Beyond Good and Evil 20th Anniversary Edition has sparked a whirlwind of reactions and speculations. Fans who had a glimpse of the leaked version noted its enhanced 4 Kelvin playability and improved graphics. 
This upgrade alone has set forums and social media abuzz with excitement, as screenshots and gameplay footage made their brief appearance online before being taken down. The community was quick to dissect every frame. The anticipation revolves around the new features listed in the Xbox Store, like the speedrun mode, updated achievements, and the anniversary gallery, which promises a deeper dive into the game's development and secrets. Fans are speculating how these additions will enrich the gameplay experience and bring a fresh perspective to the classic title. There's a palpable sense of nostalgia mixed with curiosity. Gamers are eager to see how Ubisoft will honor the legacy of the original while incorporating these new elements. The discussion is not just about the game's technical upgrades but also about its potential to rekindle the unique experience that made Beyond Good and Evil a cult classic. As we compare the leaked 20th anniversary edition of Beyond Good and Evil with its original 2003 version, the enhancements are immediately noticeable. The upgrade to 4 Kelvin resolution and 60 FPS in the leaked footage represents a significant leap from the original's graphics, bringing a more immersive visual experience to this classic title. Fans who had a sneak peek at the leaked version have noted the improved graphics, controls, and audio, which are expected to breathe new life into the game's already rich world. The autosave and cross-save features are modern conveniences that will undoubtedly be appreciated by new and returning players alike. However, the excitement doesn't stop at technical upgrades. There's a lot of buzz around the new gameplay features. The speedrun mode, in particular, is a highlight for many, promising an exciting challenge for both seasoned veterans and newcomers. The updated achievements are expected to add more depth and replayability to the game. Moreover, the anniversary gallery, offering insights into the game's development, is another aspect fans are eager to see. This behind-the-scenes look is anticipated to provide a deeper connection to the game and its creators, something that wasn't possible in the original release. In essence, while the original Beyond Good and Evil is remembered for its compelling narrative and unique blend of gameplay elements, the anniversary edition aims to elevate this experience with modern enhancements, while preserving the soul of the game that has captivated players for two decades. In response to the leak of Beyond Good and Evil's 20th anniversary edition, Ubisoft was quick to issue an official statement. They acknowledged the existence of the Anniversary Edition, which was inadvertently made available to some Ubisoft Plus subscribers. This move by Ubisoft was a clear attempt to manage the situation and assure fans that the leaked version was not indicative of the final product. Ubisoft emphasized that the version posted to Ubisoft Plus wasn't the complete game. In their statement, they expressed their commitment to ensuring that the official launch, set for early 2024, will honor the legacy of the original game. They also apologized for any confusion caused by the early release of this development version and thanked their community for their understanding and continued support. This response from Ubisoft serves to manage expectations and maintain excitement for the official release. It's a reminder that while leaks can offer a sneak peek, the final product might hold even more surprises and refinements. As we look towards the horizon, the Beyond Good and Evil 20th Anniversary Edition is slated for an official launch in early 2024. This timeline, confirmed by Ubisoft has set the stage for what could be a remarkable revival of a beloved classic. The expectations are high, not just for the remastered version to live up to the original's legacy, but also for it to pave the way for the future of the franchise. The remaster could potentially rekindle interest in Beyond Good and Evil, leading to the revival of the planned trilogy that was put on hold due to the original game's commercial struggles. It represents a chance for Ubisoft to revisit and expand the universe of Beyond Good and Evil, potentially bringing new stories and adventures to a new generation of gamers. To wrap up, the leak of the Beyond Good and Evil Anniversary Edition has stirred up a lot of excitement and speculation. With its enhanced graphics, new features, and the promise of honoring the original game's spirit, the anticipation for early 2024 is palpable. As a fan of the original, I'm personally excited to see how Ubisoft will blend the old with the new and whether this will spark a resurgence for the series. Now, over to you, our awesome community. What are your thoughts on this leak? Are you excited about the remastered edition? What are your expectations? And what do you hope to see in this anniversary edition? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and let's keep the conversation going. And as always, for more gaming news and insights, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.